when I received the news, it didn't shock me because it, it only shocked me because there was a coup, a military coup. But beginning with the suspension of internet and then communication being tampered with by President Ali Bongo and his government, I was only saying that another Niger was coming. Because today you don't you don't deal with this generation like you used to deal with the generation in the 90s. You cannot suspend internet for two days because of election. If you calculate just the anger that is generated because of that suspension. And suspend international media. And when you are suspending, it means you have something to hide or you are planning to steal something. If we are sitting here and somebody puts up all these lights, that person has a terrible intention. So when I receive the news, I was happy that at least a correction was given to that region that thought that they could lord it over the nation at any time. I gave bravo to the military in Gabon, not because I encourage a military coup or military coups, but because a constitutional coup was being prepared through those signs that showed us that the elections were not transparent before the military guy is saying that they were not credible they were not we saw it just from the way the president was hiding everything so i was a little bit worried when the communique from france said they were closely following and did not condemn it outrightly like they did with president bazoum in niger when France said they were closely following developments in Gabon, I began to ask myself whether is it a ruse that the military is playing because we know that at one moment uh, President uh, Ali Bongo, who can be described like a good student of President Paul Bia too of Cameroon because all of them always come for, I don't know whether it's advice or his friendship, also started developing some resistance towards the colonial masters by saying that we are going to transform our timber here we are going to not export all that so some we africans when we start getting presidents talking like that we are not going to export our timber again we are going to transform we are going to set industries to transform and export finished goods we have a soft spot for them so I why are we not defending him? Because I don't see No, the thing we are not, we, we are not defending him. We are not, no, 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 no. He never made noise for Bazoom. I never heard him making some noise for if, President if, Bazoom. He made noise for our timber to be trans to be I mean yes, transformed in the country. That's that's another noise. But the problem is this I've already told you why I am jubilating that he was ousted because the machinations, the things he did during that election, during the voting and proclaiming results by 3 a.m. in the night that is just to tell you that he was not sincere so even though i have admired him for other things this one made me to lose my admiration for him thank you john